All right, first pie guy here. Um, just want to talk about uh, USB sound cards. I have one currently plugged into the uh, Raspberry Pi here. And, you know, you could use these for multiple different applications, APRS and so on. Uh, but I'm not going to show you how to set one of these up for that. I'm just here to show you a few commands about uh, the mixer and uh, how to figure out what device and uh, and all that for the uh, USB sound card. So we have have it in have it plugged in right now. So if we do a our cord dash L to list. As you can see, we have uh, our device right here. It's device uh, zero, card one. And that's a big uh, big thing to remember, especially if you're using like Direwolf or whatnot, whatever you may be using, your USB four that you need to know what card it is and what device it is. Don't let these... Uh, numbers here confuse you you're more worried about this guy and that guy there so <clears throat> and if we do an a play dash l as you can see a bunch of information here card zero is for the pi and so on but down here we have Obviously, USB device, device zero, card one, just like it listed up here. So, if we do a <clears throat> the following command there, as you can see, this brings up the mixer for the Raspberry Pi. So, if we do a I'm doing a control F6 now it could be different for your system it all depends on uh, uh, what you may have to hit F6 or function F6 or whatnot so as you can see it lists a few things here so if we just list the uh, USB audio adapter as you can see up here it will list the speaker mic and auto gain so, and if you use your uh, left and right arrow keys and up and down, you can change the volume on each. And if you <clears throat> hit the letter M, M is in Mary, you can mute auto gain on and off. And you can do the same with the speaker and the microphone. So if we do a an F5, then that'll bring in the capture for that particular USB device. And like I said, you could do the same, change it, and whatnot. So <clears throat> then you could just hit uh, exit to get out of that so if we run that again this is the default then if we do a an f6 when we then we can select the audio device for the usb adapter so once you make your changes you'll want to do a sudo Then the following command here is to uh, store your settings so you don't lose it, like if you restart the Pi or whatnot. So what we're going to do now is, <clears throat> like I showed you, if you look at this, you know, you 
do an F6, you got to choose in between here. So, depending on what you may be wanting to use your USB audio device for, you may not want to load the driver and information for the onboard audio of the Pi. So, we're going to fix that problem by doing a pseudo nano. And we're going to get into the boot here. Then the config.txt. So if we scroll down, as you can see, we want to get under here for the BCM2835. So we want this line right here. And we want to change this to off from on. Then we'll just do a control X, Y, enter to save that. So now what we're going to do is just do a simple reboot. <clears throat> and uh, once that comes up, we're going to get back into this here. All right, so now we'll just uh, <clears throat> sign back in here. So what we'll do is we will run the, the mixer command here. And as you can see, it popped right up to the USB device. So if we do an F6, right now it doesn't show the on board. So you're basically only using the audio device of the USB. So now it won't load the uh, the driver and all for the onboard audio. So, <clears throat> and if you need to obviously turn that back on, you know, we that can be done by just going back under that command and scroll down and change this to on, save it, then just do a simple reboot. So I'll throw a link in the description to my website that will show this video and some other commands that are available for uh, the mixer. So hopefully this helps out a little bit and thanks for watching.